All right, Lee Robinson here at Work Doing Right. We're gonna show you how to level a mobile home. Um, a few years ago, I had some kennel construction done and I was disappointed in the contractor because he did not understand how to put the slope in the slab. And it showed me that the level of incompetence in a lot of contractors and people today is really much higher than it should be. So, um, he, you know, he said he leveled it with a laser level. Unfortunately, laser levels have to be calibrated. If they're not calibrated, they're not accurate, and people are putting trust in equipment where the bubble that marks your level is not on the same plane as the laser that spins around shooting the signal. So I was able to check his work by using a water level and saw that he was way off on his intended slope. And he was trying to tell me, I can't hold a hose tight enough to put the bubble in the middle to confirm that my hose is flat. And you can't hold the hose tight enough to make sure that hose is flat. I'm like, this guy doesn't even know what a water level is. So a water level is not a bubble level. That's two different technologies. Okay, a bubble level is good for construction of things that are, you know, a few feet long, but you can't run 50 feet or more with a, you can't even run 10 feet really with a, a bubble level, but you can run as long as you want with a water level, which is a siphon hose that is filled with water. And the reason this works is because what you do, is you, in this case, I have a 100 foot hose and it's completely filled with dot, with uh, water that's been with food colored red, makes it look pink. And then you make sure there's no bubbles in it. You take the plug out and what this plug will do is it'll allow air to go in your water level. And that water, if there's no air in there, is gonna be at the same level as the water in the bucket, okay? And this will allow you to go as far as you want, as long as there's no bubbles in your hose. Now I have a 100 foot hose here and I can take this hose all the way around. Let me get it level. I actually have my uh, bucket, uh, the water level with the bottom of that step. That way, if there's any leaking here, I'll be able to detect that the level in my, in my bucket is going down. So let me uh, line that up so y'all can see that. And you can see that that water is even with that bottom of that step. Now, I can take this hose wherever I want around the bottom of this mobile home, and I have a true indicator that I can measure with a ruler now. Just inches and make sure every place at the bottom of this mobile home is completely level. Much more accurate than a laser level that has to be calibrated every couple of times that you use it. So this is an old school technology, and we're going to get this mobile home right where the doors open and close and the windows open and close the way they're supposed to. So I pulled off all the skirting and it didn't have very many supports either. So I've doubled the number of supports and right now they're just placed in and uh, I've got the wedges on top and whatever. So it's fairly close, but not accurate. I've got one spot way down there in the end that the mobile home's not even resting on the blocks. Uh, and that was one of the old blocks, the original blocks where the mobile homes just shifted so much that the doors aren't closing. It's only sitting on, you know, a per small percentage of the supports. So what we did is we put another stack of bricks between every single support. And in some places where there was too much run, we even put two stacks. So hopefully we won't have to do this again because it's a real pain in the butt to get under there where the spiders and snakes like to live. But at least this time of the year, it's not too hot, not too cold. Bugs are gonna be to a minimum. Snakes are probably not really out. Yes, I'm wearing a short sleeve and it's a warm day, but it's a good day to do it. Um, it's still cool because it's February, but it's a good day to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this, now it's gonna start draining, see? So I need to pick that back up and make sure I don't let that water run out. Now you'll see that that water is gonna go back down even with the bottom of that step. It's gonna, you have to give it a minute. It's, it's gotta move a hundred foot of water. So it's gonna go down, overshoot, go up, overshoot, and you give it a, a minute and it's gonna level back out just like it did. That's how you use a water level to level a structure that's you know more than 10 feet long. Y'all have a blessed day, we'll get this taken care of.